Hey there, Colleen here, DIYer behind LemonThistle.com, and today I am answering a question, and that is where I keep my cleaning supplies. Today is a short one, and I know this isn't a super fun and exciting thing, but I do get asked quite a bit because I have shared what we've got going on under our sink and in our kitchen, and I've shared different organizational things like that. I will link you some of my organizational videos if that's something that you're interested in. Uh, but one of the tips that I give in almost all of those videos is to keep things where you use them and that helps you save time. It helps make the task that you need to do easier. There are so many benefits to it. It also frees up space in some of those high traffic areas like your kitchen. But if you have toddlers and babies, really young kids, and you want to be keeping cleaners out of reach, then this will definitely be helpful for you. I have four kids, nine and under, so they're now getting a little bit older. My youngest just turned five, so no longer is it such a stress to not have dangerous uh, chemicals out of reach. They all help with the cleaning now, and they all understand, you know, what's off limits, but I do still keep most of the heavy chemicals out of reach. So I thought I would share it all with you today. Before we get into it, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you do that below so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos or organization. We'd like to do that too. I do want to preface that this video is not featuring any super cool supplies that you have to buy, organizational, um, you know, gadgets or anything like that. I've got just like very few things that I use uh, to keep my cleaning supplies organized because as much as I love seeing what works for other people, uh, when I click through to that Amazon link and I see $30 for a clear stacker, it stresses me out. So we're gonna keep it super simple here. This is so accessible and if you have young kids that you wanna keep chemicals away from, this is fantastic. So let's start with my kitchen. Uh, under the sink is where Traditionally, my family had stored cleaning supplies and most of the houses I have been to or helped my friends moved or helped my friends clean, that sort of thing, the cleaning supplies are almost always under the sink. And so I know where to find them, that's great. Um, but kids also know where to find them. Uh, so then we would just put a lock on the under the sink cabinet and that worked well. But we changed things up when we reorganized our kitchen couple years ago now and it's been one of the best changes that we've made so let's go under our sink here the thing about under sink storage well like any cabinet storage there's only so much space in your kitchen and so to use it up on household cleaners that you don't even use in your kitchen is just such a waste of that precious cabinet space if you have lots of appliances and things like that especially now like instant pots slow cookers, air fryers, like that stuff's huge guys, it takes up space. All right, so you can see under here, we actually keep our air fryer and that is because it is so tall, uh, by moving it into one of our other cabinets, we would have had to adjust the shelves up so high and then we're losing a whole shelf <laughs> in our cabinets. So instead of doing that, we've moved it under the sink. I feel like it's a really good use of space. Normally what would be under here is just not as important as my other kitchen cabinet build things like pantry supplies and small appliances. So I've got that in here. We've got our paper towel in here and we have our dishwasher pods. And I like to keep the dishwasher pods in here, not only because it's pretty, I think this is just from the dollar store years ago. It's pretty beat up, but also it's like, it's pretty big lid. So it's hard to get open for tiny hands, like toddler hands can't get this open. And even my five-year-old who helps do the dishwasher will ask for help opening this because it's a bit tricky to get into. And then, this is all of my kitchen cleaning supplies that I have in here. So I've got like dish soap, I've got the power shot, uh, jet dry, and I've got some hand cream and some Lysol wipes. But this is all that I need. And then plant food, because I also water my plants here. This is all it needs, and it's easy to take out. They're not spilling in the bottom of my kitchen cabinet. And uh, it leaves room for the other stuff that I want to be able to keep in here. So that is really useful for us. That works really well and it frees up some kitchen space. So where do we keep our other cleaners? Let me show you. All right, so this is the next place that I wanna show you and this is our, like we built this into the kitchen. I know that not everybody's gonna have this. In our last house, we turned the 
um, like it was a split level entry, you know, where you go up and down. And so at the top of the stairs, there was a coat closet. We turned it into a pantry and we divided it in half to give half a cleaning cupboard. So the only, the, the goal with this was to have somewhere to put like your broom and your like vacuum and that sort of thing. So wherever you're keeping your tall stand up stuff, that's what this is. We have our kids like cleaning. They have the opportunity to earn money and there's like coins in here um, with the task on the front of it. So we have that here. And then we have our vacuum with the hook on the wall, our like window cleaner squeegee thing. <laughs> so we have really tall windows in the back in there. And then we've got our brooms. Let me bring you closer so you can see. So we've got our brooms and all I wanted to point out is that the hooks, like we just used to shove everything in here and um, it would just get like messy and you'd open it up and everything would fall out. So installing hooks in here has allowed us to keep it so much more tidy and uh, they don't need to be fancy hooks at all. And then the other thing we have in there is our aprons just because this is in our kitchen. But um, above this though, and if you do have a closet where you're keeping your uh, broom in and that sort of thing, if there is a top shelf, this is where I recommend kind of keeping the rest of your uh, cleaning supplies. So things that you don't necessarily use every day, the sort of more heavy stuff, but that you want to have access to. So I have like Goo Gone in here and, um, like carpet cleaner, uh, that sort of stuff. Um, for keepers friends, I, you know, rubbing alcohol, but having a basket when you're keeping it on the top shelf so that you don't have to get up on a chair and like dig to the very back to get what you're looking for. is just so, so helpful. So again, this basket, I don't even remember where I got it, but, uh, baskets to corral the things so that if those cleaners spill, I'm not cleaning the cabinet, I'm just cleaning a basket. Um, and it's up high in the cupboard in which, or the closet in which I keep my broom. Now that is not bathroom cleaners. Bathroom cleaners I keep somewhere else entirely. Come on with me. All right, this is my hallway, um, kids' bedrooms, bathroom down there, and this is our linen closet. So part of keeping things where you use them for us means keeping the sheets for each bed in the bedroom closet in which they're used in. We keep them on the top shelf and that keeps them out of our linen closet, which is tiny. It's like this, this big and uh, keeps them easily accessible when we need to do middle of the night changes, which we don't really have to do anymore now that our kids are getting older, but especially when they were young, that was just like a constant, right? Okay, so our linen closet uh, is like the one space that I haven't painted since we move in. I should maybe do that soon. And I haven't even dealt with the shelves that look like this, but we'll get there all in time. Uh, so we have all of our linens, extra socks, linens, linens, but down here on the bottom, this is where we keep our mop bucket and this is where we keep our carpet cleaner. So we have a little carpet cleaner. These are close to the bathtub right there to fill them up. Four bathroom cleaners. We have the regs here, but then up on the top shelf, because again, I'm trying to keep the heavier cleaners away from little hands. I've got this caddy and honestly, these caddies are the best thing. So you can just grab this and you can carry this to the bathroom. It's like four steps. Then we're able to do our bathroom clean and put it right back. Okay, so that bathroom caddy, I think, was about $20 from Kitchen Staff Plus, but I got a similar one, very similar one, from the dollar store for my husband to keep all of the car cleaning supplies in, and we keep that one in the garage. So those carrying caddies um, are just so handy. All right, the very last space that I wanted to show you is our basement bathroom. This is the bathroom in my son's bedroom, so it's his own. Um, <laughs> But if you have bathrooms on different levels of your home, I would suggest keeping some cleaners handy there. So because we get him to clean his own, we keep it pretty simple and we have everything that he needs just under here. So there's the replacement bags. We've got Lysol wipes and that sort of thing in here. But having them in the bathroom so you don't have to carry all the cleaning supplies down the stairs to clean the bathroom or else this bathroom would never get cleaned if I had to carry them down the stairs every time I wanted this cleaned. All right, so I'm taking you into the last unfinished room, like totally unfinished room of my house. This is our laundry room. And so in my laundry room, I have a shelf, again, up higher, dedicated to cleaners for like the, the restock. This is my restock shelf. And in addition to this, I keep the kind of like really, really heavy cleaners up here um, so that the kids can't get at those at all.
If your pain point is that your kitchen cupboards are too full, this can help that. If your pain point is your bathroom cupboards are too full, this can help that. It's kind of the different things. Like your kids find it too hard to clean because they don't know what cleaners are for what. Having a caddy for the bathroom cleaners is really going to help them be able to do that without so many questions. It's going to empower them. And this just works really well for us. So I hope it does for you too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed that video. I hope that you have some ideas of how to change things up in your own life. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. See you next time.